Hello everybody, good evening. This is the Obunaya Abokes and we are here once again. As always, um, we are live by Saturday, um, 10 p.m. GMT plus one. You know, we pray every week and we trust that God is always reaching out to us. God is always blessing our lives. God, God is always increasing us. God is always making his grace, his power, his glory available to us every time we gather. You know, the scripture will say that we are two or three are gathered in my name. He said, I am there in their midst. And when God is in the midst of a people, great things are done, strong things are done, mighty things are done, marvelous works are done. So whenever we come together, the presence of the Lord is, you know, avails for us. Can we just begin to worship God this night? Can we begin to lift up our voice and begin to give him the praise for his presence that is always available when we gather? He said, it's a consciousness we are meant to have. He said, where two or three are gathered in my name, we have gathered in the name of the lord tonight we have gathered in the name of the lord and we are sure that he is here we are sure that he is available we are sure that he is in the midst of us we are sure that he is strong and mighty in our midst so can we just go ahead and begin to worship jehovah Let's go ahead and begin to give him the praise. Oh, Zetene Makandele Baruse Veletene Mekambalandish Gebede Resute Veletalia. There is none like unto our God. There is none like unto our God. There is none. There is none. Not in heaven, not on earth, not beneath the earth. There is none. Oh, Jesus, you are high and you are lifted up. You are exalted. You are exalted. You are exalted. Oh, your mercies and Dios for you are resorted you are the alpha and the omega you are the beginning and you are the end oh jesus we bow in worship mighty are your works oh god in the midst of your people mighty are your works in the midst of your children mighty are your works in the midst of your sons mighty are your works in the midst of your daughter Lord, you have preserved us. Lord, you have been our guide, our shield, our our anchor, oh Jesus, we thank you. Zetena manana kayada balata. You are high and you are lifted up. You are exalted above all the earth. You are exalted above all the earth. You are exalted above every circumstance. You are exalted above every situation. Jesus, we thank you. We love you. We love you. We love you so much. We love you so much. Our hearts are filled with gladness. We love you so much. Our hearts are filled with worship. Uh, we worship you, Jesus. Uh, we love you so much. Our mouth is filled with songs of joy. Uh, we love you so much. We love you so much. Uh, you have given us your life. I uh, will love you so much. Uh, and therefore, we give you our lives. We love you so much. Uh, we love you so much, Jesus. Uh, oh, you are the life that will live. Um, you are the air that will breathe. Uh, you are He that was that is and needs to come you are rohi a shepherd you are jire a provider you are rafa a healer you are sit canoe a righteousness lord you reign forever you reign oh god you reign in our hearts you reign oh god you reign in our lives you reign oh god God, uh, you reign in our country, uh, you reign, oh God, uh, you reign in the world, uh, you reign, oh God, uh, you reign in the church, uh, you reign, oh God, uh, 
I see Jesus Sabalana seated on the throne, Meleruze Beletia, and I pay homage at the Barada to the Lamb of God, the Rizebelania, Gababalata, Reprepe de Kikatato, the Benekiki, the Dete, and the Dete, Repele Mana, Kumbelania, Rekebalano, the Belata. Menano Jaria de Retia Balabanada, Yada de Jaria Capala Ruse Velatia. I see the Lamb, you see that on the throne. I behold the Lamb, you sleep that high. I see the Lamb, you see that on the throne. I behold the Lamb, he is exalted. I see. See the Lama, he is seated on the throne. I behold the Lama, he is lifted high. Oh, Shabaladi, Resunumana Manaye, Kebelanoja, let the earth worship, let the earth worship, Resule Mane, Kabalade, Janane Kabaram, the Repredi Bidia Tena Mananake, Resunumana Meki Manane, Shananatana Manaya. He is the lion. He is the Lamb of God. He is the Lion. He is the Lamb of God. Ayalano Sebelenia. He is the Lion. He is the Lamb of God. Mandon de Recanderim Provinia Sebelenia. He is the Lion. He is the Lamb of God. And the Marus Geberinda Baram de Latia Kemel and Ojeria da Balata. Recabelenia Dovalon. Rum de Reprabalata, Reprepe de Tecatele, Mononoma, Jeberem de Recrada Tata, Ilano, Jebelatia, Kibaliate, La Manamada, you are the Lion, you are the Lama, you are the Lion, you are the Lama, you are the Lion, you are the Lama, Mano, Shela, Cane, Beneri, Sobeletia, Cabalana, Gada de Jebelatia. We worship you, Jesus. Go ahead. Uh, let your worship rise up uh, like an incense. Uh, let it rise unto the Lord uh, like an incense. Uh, let it rise. Let it rise. Ananamia. Resu de vela kamananea. Zeria todo bokoma. Reprenemeni kabalande rende belatea. For the Lord is good. Uh, his mercy is endures forever. For the Lord is good. His mercies and yours forever. Let your heart, uh, let your heart be laid bare before the Lord. Uh, let your heart rise in worship uh, unto the one that has done mighty things for you. Uh, he has done marvelous things for you. Uh, he has done great things for you. Amate sola ikuwa idano jaria suvelene kamana mene iso lene kabalanata kiano jaria tunu mene ayanini. Soso vena gana la de de resunia mamane usie kivunua ila mane kabana tune kiete resune kabala nozi de noji na yamde de de tie urobele kamana ne zebela ne shabala na we are here because you are Jesus ah we are here because you are Jesus ah we are living because you are living Jesus ah. The Belladoja Riatianana. We are here because you are here, oh, you are a Kama Ianina, oh, Zebelia. You are the life we live. 
You are the air we breathe. In you we live. In you we move. In you we have a being. In you we live. In you we move. In you we have a being. In you we live. In you we move. In you we have a being. In you we live. In you we move. In you we have a being. In you we live. In you we move. In you we have a being. In you we live. In you we move. In you we have. Have I been? In you we live. In you we move. In you we have I been? Edo zela kambri nande rose vile angri nanto no maka resuna na mi atono gado bonota reprete pelete gami na kamala ni atono maka bonota reprete kapala na nante na na pakadate. The Lord is here. He is lifting us up as we are exalting Him. He is there. Taking us up, I see us rising. Ah, I see us rising. Ah, and there shall be a battle. Rosy, we dig deep, we dig up, and take it back again. Do what? Repeat, dig up, and no one knows that. Ah, I see us becoming giants. Ah, we are rising. Ah, He is taking us up. Ah, a rockety marum the real soft and mango mountain. The marum the regretto si balata. Messu na 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 mega balata. Repeat, the domalo na mas. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Everything that is within me, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Never forget His benefits. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Never. Forget his benefits, ah. Esha na mama makabala rende na na na. Repreve ya to kabala niyeze. Melukuve tene makale tene moji varia takade. Mene kozi vene tiye kabala na. Our hearts are filled with worship, ah. Our hearts are filled with thanksgiving, ah. Oh Jesus, we worship, ah. Oh Jesus, we worship, ah. Be thou exalted, ah. You are God. And you reign, you are God, and you reign. We worship you, Jesus. You are God, and you reign. We worship you, Jesus. You are God, and you reign. We worship you, Jesus. You are seated on the throne. You are seated on the throne, Jesus. We worship you. You are seated on the throne. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up, Jesus. <laughs> Psalm chapter thirty. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up. You know, when we were worshiping, I just saw us growing, like. Like, like we were, we were no more our normal sizes. We were just growing. Even the microphone was <laughs> was growing. O koba na ne kala panano shekebele ya tananati ya kavala nosia. You know that is what happens when we worship. When we worship, you know, worship is a way. One of the ways that we lift Jesus up, and He says, "If I be lifted up, I will draw all men to myself." So the the height to which you lift up Jesus is the height to which He draws you. Do you understand? So through worship, you are exalting His name. You are lifting Him up, and as He and as you are doing that, He is bringing you with Himself. O kopelan teru sebele kamana na. He say, I will restore thee, O Lord, for thou has lifted us up, and has not made my foes to rejoice over me. Father, Lord, we thank you for lifting us up. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Amen. Psalm twenty-three. Um, this is the third prayer that we are the third prayer session we are making from Psalm 23, and if we can finish it up in this session, we will. But if we do not, we have to go for the fourth session. You know, Psalm 23 is a beautiful scripture as we've seen so far. And if you've not um, prayed with the 
um the last two parts of psalm 23 please is in the um, playlist prayer companion of in our youtube channel kindly do so with with them they are marvelous scriptures so psalm 23 it says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restored my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies this was where we stopped in our last prayer video so we'll be continuing he said thou anointed my head with oil my cup runneth over he says thou anointed my head with oil my cup runneth over now the anointing of the lord is what brings results he said you anoint my head with oil therefore my cup runs over so the oil on your head is revealed in the in the in the over in the overflow in your cup in your hands so we are going to be praying number one that the lord would anoint our head with oil he would do something in our head you know the head is where the vision is the head is where the 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 the, the coordination comes from the thinking process that's where everything lies in so we are going to be praying lord anoint our heads with oil anoint now let me break down that scripture you know the anointing when, when the scripture talked about oil sometimes it represents the holy spirit so the psalmist was saying anoint me with your spirit anoint me with your spirit in the book of exodus chapter um 31 god was speaking to moses and he told him i have i have um, um i have anointed bezalel do you understand with the my spirit in all wisdom in all understanding in all knowledge and in all manner of workmanship so that he can be able to um work with gold work with silver work with brass and and you know all manner of workmanship and be able to raise the uh, build the tabernacle as i've commanded you so god anointed bezalel um aholiab and some other men with the spirit of god so that they can do the work they can build what god wants to be um built do you understand and he gave them wisdom gave them understanding gave them knowledge gave them you know skill in all manner of workmanship so what we are going to be praying for is that the the spirit of god would anoint us that our heads will be anointed with oil that we will have wisdom we will have understanding we will have knowledge in all manner of workmanship whatsoever we are doing whatsoever is the work of our hands whatsoever is our business we'll be praying that the lord will increase our wisdom in the name of jesus in that particular dimension in that particular area in the name of jesus the lord anoints our head with oil we know what to do we are not confused uh, in the name of jesus our head uh, is anointed can you say lord anoint my head with oil anoint my head with oil oh jesus grant me wisdom grant me knowledge grant me understanding in all manner of workmanship grant me skill in my endeavor grant me skill in my suto kupala kumpre sude falata in the work of my hands show me the way to do it better show me the way to become better oh teach my hands to war oh god teach my hands to war oh god man terua sene makombe reprende kupela nos the real kupela ne retama Jesus, anoint my head with oil, oh. anoint my head with oil, oh. anoint my head with oil. Recross the Belani, keep it, 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 keep it,
that we have wisdom uh, to do, uh, we have knowledge, uh, we have understanding, uh, we have skill in all manner of workmanship. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh, Copa, Resu de Veleta, we become excellent. In the name of Jesus, uh, you know what this to English Daniel in Babylon, he said the excellent spirit was upon him, uh, and he was, you know, he was distinguished from his mates, uh, he was di distinguished from his contemporaries. Can we say, Lord, uh, anoint my head with oil, uh, anoint my head with oil, whatsoever it is I am doing, uh, whatsoever the work of my hand is, uh, Lord, anoint me with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge, with skill, uh, Lord, my Ruseba, Latune, Kabbalana, give direction to my feet in the name of Jesus, uh, give direction to my feet in the name of Jesus, uh, you know, what makes the difference in the things you do uh, and in the things that the unbeliever does is the anointing of the spirit and um, that is the, what makes the difference um, the anointing is the difference um, the anointing is the difference that uh, the Holy Ghost is the difference um, what makes the difference between your 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 business and another person's business is the anointing working in your life uh, that is not working in the other person's life. Uh, it is the anointing that is the difference. Uh, I mean, Bishalel, he was an ordinary man till the anointing came upon him uh, and he began to walk and build the tabernacle. Uh, he was an ordinary man until the anointing came up. Uh, he was an ordinary man until the Spirit of God came upon him. So you can be ordinary now, but by the anointing of the oil, you will become extraordinary. You will know what to do. You will, you will, you will increase in wisdom. The Lord will direct your feet to the materials you need to read, to the businesses you need to go into, to the, 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 the particular solution to the um, challenge you are facing in whatever sphere of your life. It's by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Even Jesus walks by the anointing. He says, for the Lord God has anointed me. He has anointed me. He has anointed me. He has. He said he has anointed me to set the captives free. He has anointed me to do so and so and so. He said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For the Lord has anointed me to set the captives free, to declare the opening of the prison doors to them that are bound. He has anointed me, and Jesus did not do anything until the Holy Ghost, until he was anointed by the Holy Ghost. And then he began to do that which the Lord wants him to do. Um, they are things, uh, they are achievements that the Lord has kept for you. Um, they are achievements the Lord wants to bring you into, but they can only come by the Holy Ghost. Um, he says, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, say yet the Lord. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, say yet the Lord of hosts. Not by power. Let it get down into your into your heart. It is not by power. It is not by might. It is by the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost comes, He rejuvenates your might. He, he, re he, he reworks your understanding. Reworks your wisdom. Masute kapala parante kuvelete. Reprekus ekita na palato. Rekitu na kataya kombe rua seneva. Reprevinto zasia. Le manakus ebina kalia. We know what to do. In the name of Jesus. We do not miss opportunities. They are opportunities that you will not see if the Holy Ghost does not help you. Oh, Jacob in Genesis chapter 21, you know, the um Haka was um in the wilderness with her son Ishmael, and 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 the scripture says, and when the can of water that Abraham gave her was stayed, when when it was finished, she lost hope. She lost hope. She lost hope and and there was no anointing for her eyes to be open to see another well of water to see another oh makapala what abraham gave hagar was a can of water was a can of, it was a container of water but when he finished the holy there was a well that the holy ghost was able to open her eyes to so it does not matter what you, you think has finished in your life it does not matter what you think has, you know, is exhausted in your life. If you can only be anointed by the Holy Ghost, you will see a greater measure. She, you know, she was, she was given a container of water by Abraham, but the Holy Ghost gave her a well of water. Manasuko perwa 
Tonono, Recretosia, Iki Tiki Tiki, Liman de Sunoman, Holy Ghost open our eyes, Holy Ghost open our eyes, Oh Shanama Kabalanea, Reprene Mene Mene Manana Me Shagada Palato Cambrono, Reprene Mene Kamalanati, Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, anoint my head with oil, Jesus. Anoint my head with oil, oh Jesus. Anoint my head with oil, oh Jesus. Anoint my head with oil, Jesus. Give sight to my eyes, oh Jesus. Give sight to my eyes, oh Jesus. Give hearing to my ears, oh Jesus. Give hearing to my ears, oh Jesus. Grant sensitivity in my heart oh jesus i do not miss your visitation oh god i do not miss your visitation oh god i do not miss your visitation oh god oh in the name of jesus the holy ghost is the difference the Holy Ghost is the difference. The Holy Ghost, He is the difference. Oh, Bananda Shana Mamande Suvene Nema Kamne Nene Nekanana. And the psalmist says, Anoint my head with oil. He was saying, Let the Holy Ghost come upon me. Let the Holy Ghost come upon me. That was his heart cry. Let the Holy Ghost be activated. <laughs> Let the Holy Ghost be activated in me. Let the Holy Ghost be activated in me. Let the Holy Ghost be activated in me. <laughs> Let the Holy Ghost be activated in me. <laughs> Let the Holy Ghost be activated in me. Anoshki vidya kabalam briso beria kababa pati kapela toria si panata mesha kande riso beria tababa mane kande ruze beria kababa lande ruze frahania. One more time, one more time, one more time. Can you pray that your head be anointed? You know what? One, one thing in the physical, when you pour oil in a place, it 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 lubricates that place. It makes the workings in that place seamless. The, the, the friction is reduced. The friction is taken away. That's what the function oil is. It eases movement. It eases movement. The oil, the oil, oh God. When your door is, you know, you know, when you open your door and it's making sound and it's not smooth and moving, just add oil to the hinges and the movement will be free. So, when the anointing, when the oil comes upon your head, the things you are doing that there are frictions in will become smooth. You are doing a business, there is friction in that business. It's not moving, it's not a vocal venemenaka, it's not moving forward as it's meant to be. It's as though there is a resistance. Add the oil, there will be a free movement, and you can move ahead, you can advance, you can increase, you can grow, you can expand, you can oh, you can enlarge by the oil. So, one more time, with that understanding, can you say, Lord, anoint me? <laughs> anoint my head with oil <laughs> let there be a free movement let every resistance be taken away let every resistance be taken away those things that have been resisting my increase let them be taken away by the oil in the name of jesus oh shimana kabara suto listen to me it may seem as though you are making progress of course you are making you are making a a, a certain degree of progress but that is not where God wants you to be. You know, when a car is moving, the car is moving at 60 um, kilometers per hour. He's moving. But that may not be the speed God wants the car to be moving. So, if the car is, is meant to have moved from, you know, from um, zero kilometers to 10 kilometers, but because he's moving at 60 kilometers per hour, at a certain time, he may be in two kilometers. Why had he been he's moving at the speed Without any resistance that God wants him to move, he would have, uh, you know, covered 10 kilometers. So you may have a certain level of, of, of success, yes. But I'm telling you that that is not the maximum God wants for you. You are where you are because of the degree of resistance you are feeling you have in your life. So, but the oil removes the resistance. The oil gives you free movement. So can you say, Lord, anoint my head with 
oil so that my cup can run over anoint my head with oil man so le kabara sutu vele kabanan tu sikiti ke pelwa re sutu be ekumanaika asusu ekiatone meninto akapala ruas de ria to benekala re produce ekipa la kwa re sude varatia menenin suna kaba munto ogoba re peruas de novinto aga menetunzi agandantu igagato re pelizo zozi ikitu agabana re prenonzenia manteya makuvenano now say after me my head is anointed with oil in the name of jesus every resistance in my life is taken away by the oil of the holy ghost i am anointed with oil i advance i move with speed i increase i enlarge my coast is enlarged in the name of jesus the place of my dwelling is enlarged in the name of jesus I have results, I have results, I have results, I increase, I move forward, I advance in the name of Jesus by reason of the oil. In the name of Jesus, oh Jababakalia, in the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Moving on, it says, my cup runneth over, my cup runneth over, my cup runneth over. You know, when you talk about an overflow, you may be in the in the in the realm of enough or not enough or enough whatsoever realm that we are in currently the place god wants us to be is the place that our cup runs over is when your cup is running over that you know others can be blessed mightily that others can be blessed mightily that others can be blessed mightily that your life can become with ease can go with ease and you can have time to serve the lord can we say lord let my cup run over 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 let me have results in my hand uh, by the anointing uh, he says whatsoever he doeth shall prosper whatsoever he doeth shall prosper whatsoever he doeth shall prosper psalm chapter one uh, it says whatsoever he doeth shall prosper he said blessed is the man that takes pleasure in my commandments that meditates in my law he said he will be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters he said and whatsoever he do it prospers can you say lord prosper me let there be overflow in my cup let there be results in my hand in the name of jesus i am tired of that place where there are no results i am tired of that place where my my life is devoid of results. Lord, grant me results. Lord, grant me results. Grant me results. La marando sebanania. Let the anointing on my head show in my cup. In the name of Jesus, let the anointing upon my head show in my cup. In the name of Jesus, let the anointing upon my head show in my cup. In the name of Jesus. Akabalan teria zivini kepenia tabanamagia de. Jebele mana razi bele kande bele de marande beria teka bana nama nama naka bana na ene mama 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 kaberia bele tena mana ha in the name of Jesus the last verse of Psalm 23 he says surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life he says surely 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 I mean ah the psalmist was loud mouthed though. When you read through the book of Psalms, you, you know that this man was not a silent man. He was loud mouthed. And the scripture says, Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. Open your mouth wide. Have you ever wondered what is the secret of the results of David? This is one of the secrets. He was loud mouthed. He was a God praiser. He was a worshiper. And he was loud mouthed. He says, Goodness and mercy shall follow me goodness and mercy shall follow me when the goodness of the lord and the mercy of the lord follows you i mean i mean what again goodness and mercy the goodness of the lord the goodness of the lord coupled with the mercy mercy is the platform upon which many things come 
even your salvation is on the platform of mercy your salvation is on the platform of mercy so mercy is a powerful concept in the scripture and he will say you would arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor zion yea the set time is come mercy that blind man cried out and said thou son of david have mercy on me and he received the sight and he says i would have mercy upon you i will have mercy i will have compassion of, upon whom i will have compassion so can you begin to cry and say lord have mercy on me let your mercy follow me you know mercy what the psalmist was saying is that let mercy pursue me let mercy chase after me let me not be devoid of mercy every day of my life let mercy encompass me about let goodness let goodness let goodness encompass me about that's what he was saying so can you lift up your voice and say goodness and mercy follow me as you are making that prayer let your mind get active see goodness see mercy following you everywhere you go turning to the right to the left going ahead let goodness let mercy follow you ah kabaman de rusene kabane mene shigiti e pare suvelaya stop seeing your life as being devoid of god's goodness and of god's mercy have that consciousness that god his goodness and his mercy are following you have that consciousness Oh, she papa la meria cabarante for la nakia cabala manama. Kamana man de si vele kama. I begin to pray for the goodness of the Lord, for the mercy of the Lord that they will not depart from you. They will not depart from your house in the name of Jesus. They will not depart from you. They will not depart from your house in the name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy. E kubala parahuse feria tabalata. Reprenahasia. The scripture will say how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good. He went about doing good. So everything you see that jesus did was a good to men so when the scripture says goodness follows me it means that every good god has he would he would he will bestow he will follow you every good that is meant for you will come to you that's what the psalmist was saying He's, he was saying let no good that is meant for me you know you know not be made manifest in my life let every good that god has planned for me let them be made manifest in my life in the name of jesus and i will not have a store of goodness and be living my life without goodness i will not have a store of goodness and be living my life of um, no devoid of goodness in the name of jesus goodness follows me goodness follows me mercy follows me i am a candidate of god's mercy i am a vessel of god's mercy and sude vala bumba usi gipe lu ria barante zibini kubele nu recupele kada yaku de velenia in different aspects of my life can you begin to mention different aspects of your life and begin to breathe mercy over that aspect in your family in your work academics in your career in your relationship in your marriage in your projects in your business in the name of jesus in those contracts in your dwelling place in your residence in your church among your friends mercy follows you mercy follows me mercy follows my wife mercy follows my children mercy follows me in ministry mercy follows me ah mercy follows me ah me shala mano sevena mane kibi kibi die kibi die kibi die yane shigiti giti mele malana mane ria toba la nadia mercy follows me ah goodness follows me ah imana shaba baba kabala rendere praba balata rekresu vene menka pumbele kriso veratine mangua reprevunto vele kitu ze vene maha menon zivini kabara the regretos evidia and then the suvela kumarum the reprovela tenia in the name of jesus now make this confession with me in the name of jesus i declare that my life is not devoid of the goodness of the lord 
I declare that my life is not devoid of the mercy of God in the name of Jesus. I declare that goodness follows me. I declare that mercy follows me. Mercy speaks for my wife. Mercy speaks for my husband. Mercy speaks in my marriage. Mercy speaks in my relationship. Mercy speaks in my academics. Mercy speaks in my career. Mercy speaks in every aspect of my life, in my in the life of my parents, in the life of my siblings. Mercy speaks in the name of Jesus. Mercy avails for me. Mercy delivers favor to me. Mercy delivers uh, 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 advancement to me mercy delivers increase to me mercy delivers breakthrough to me in the name of Jesus every good that God has in store for me is made manifest in my life uh, at every given time I have the goodness of the Lord uh, I will not be stranded in life in the name of Jesus uh, because the goodness of the Lord follows me all the days of my life I am not stranded uh, in the name of Jesus we have prayed amen and amen and amen thank you jesus thank you jesus for this wonderful time thank you jesus 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 thank you for anointing our heads with oil Thank you for um, 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 allowing your oil to distinguish us among our mates. Uh, you say thank you for the oil of gladness that you've bestowed upon us tonight. Give, I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you. I believe that you prayed along. I believe that you know, you know your life is no more the same because anytime we come into God's presence, anytime God's presence is made manifest in the place, things change. Atmosphere shifts, mountains move, mountains are leveled, hills are leveled, the valleys are filled up in the name of Jesus. Water is made available in the desert in the name of Jesus. And I declare over someone, you know, there is this pain in your abdomen. You know, you, 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 you it's, it's an awesome kind of pain. The Lord heals you in the name of Jesus. The Lord heals you in the name of Jesus. I declare I bind the spirit of infirmity in that body right now in the name of Jesus. Just lay your hands on your abdomen. Lay your hands on your abdomen. In the name of Jesus, I bind that spirit of infirmity. I declare out of that body now in the name of Jesus. Out of that body now in the name of Jesus. Out of that body now in the name of Jesus. I declare that healing, the anointing of healing flows through your body right now in the name of Jesus. Every mucosa that has been damaged is healed right now in the name of Jesus. Every root cause is taken away in the name of Jesus. I declare that the cause of that ulcer is caused in the name of Jesus. I declare your your the lines of your stomach is 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 um is uh is made new in the name of Jesus. All along your 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 um GIT, I declare there is healing in the name of Jesus. No more shall you feel that pain in the name of Jesus. You are healed perfectly. You are healed perfectly by Jehovah Rapha in the name of Jesus. I declare the pains are gone and gone forever. The Lord has set you free and you are totally and you are truly and you are forever free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Um, we want you to um, do where to share the video let your friends know what's happening let your friends be blessed as you are getting blessed share the video um, if you've not subscribed to our channel subscribe leave a comment leave a testimony in the comment section or reach out to us um, through our email connect with 10 at gmail.com um, that is connect with ten at gmail.com you can also send if there's a specific prayer request you want us to join you in prayer over you can also send it to that um, email address connect with 10 at gmail.com that is connect with ten at gmail.com thank you very much god bless you and do have a lovely night rest bye bye